Hello. For the past eight years, I have toured the country nine times, relocated from California to Las Vegas three times, performed four seasons with a world-renowned competitive marching arts ensemble from Northern California, coached over 20 performing art high school programs to date, worked in an elevated position for a major retail company, and I obtained my bachelor's degree. I've lived life constantly on the go and at immense speeds with little to no breaks in between. I have a love-hate relationship with my aspirations and my habit of spreading myself a little too thin. But these experiences make up the core of my identity and have brought me here with you today. My name is Brie Tomas and I am a candidate for the Master of Arts in Leadership Development at Chapman University. Since 2014, I have spent every summer coaching as a movement instructor in an activity called Drum Corps. For those of you who might not know what Drum Corps is, Imagine an activity where you spend three months of your summer rehearsing outside in the hot sun every day and traveling the country performing with 150 other musicians and performers who were just as crazy as you to sign up for the same activity. As a previous marching member, I will tell you that this activity is intense. It is not only an art form, but a skill that many of its performers spend years trying to perfect. Drum Corps is challenging in every way possible emotionally, mentally, physically, socially, logistically, I can go on. You are constantly transitioning from one city to the next with little to no sleep and are still expected to perform at the highest level at all times. There are about 3,700 youth student participants across 25 nonprofit drum corps organizations. This number does not include instructional staff, administration, health teams, and volunteers. To this day, I'm still in awe of how much it takes to operate, house, and move an organization of this capacity across the country. But when I think about drum corps, I am immediately overwhelmed with emotions. My three summers spent marching were each different from one another and required me to push myself further than I thought imaginable. Despite its challenges, I hold my drum corps experiences as some of my most cherished and rewarding. My performing and coaching career has been the pinnacle of my life since graduating high school and having the opportunity to return as a dance and movement instructor has been extremely fulfilling. I currently serve as an assistant caption head at one of the activity's top drum corps organizations. 14 year old me that merely joined the activity as a way to make new friends would not have guessed that my life would end up where it has today. Coaching and mentoring students in the same newfound passion I had at their age. While I'm happy to share with you all the amazing aspects of the drum corps activity, it pains me to also share the dark discoveries that I have come to find during my time as an instructor. In 2014, I received my first position as an instructor at a drum corps nonprofit organization based in Southern California. My position involved a lot of time and commitment for very little money, but I was incredibly grateful and beyond excited for the opportunity. I quickly realized that life on the road as a member was much different than it was as an instructor. There seemed to be a gap of knowledge about what was expected and appropriate of the instructional staff member role. These blurred lines occurred in the form of inappropriate conversations, relationships, and lack of professionalism amongst staff members, their colleagues, and their students. I realized that sharing these details may unfortunately be common in other youth sports activities, but what is frightening about the drum corps activity is the lack of accountability that will continue to perpetuate the present unsafe culture. This has led me to my capstone project for the MLD program. Aside from these experiences, I was really motivated to do this project to establish prominence and credibility in the coaching profession. For a long time in the activity, stories have been passed down of some of the unconventional teaching tactics used by the instructors who pioneered the activity before us. Though their disciplinary acts are not as prevalent today, there is still a sense of ruthlessness from instructional staff that remains in the activity. As a coach, we have an interesting role because while we're not required to obtain the same qualifications, education, and certifications as a teacher, we still play a major part in shaping the lives of the youth community and giving them experiences they will take with them for the rest of their lives. For 80 days, we travel the country with these students, work in close proximity, and are looked to as their mentors and leaders. I envision this project to further the leadership of the instructional staff community. My project is made up of two parts. The first is a mnemonic device. 
the word core, which stands for culture of responsibility, professionalism, and safety. Inspired by my office values at Chapman, I wanted to create a term or slang that instructors and members could turn to when thinking about the impression they leave on the drum corps community. In action, instructors can ask themselves, what is my culture of responsibility, professionalism, and safety? Or what do I value in myself as a teacher and how my students and coworkers perceive me? Being on the road can get stressful at times, but I felt having this device to ground oneself in their values would ultimately continue to bring mindfulness and awareness to the leadership we display. Accountability is an important theme to this project and the presence of this upon ourselves has the potential to genuinely transform the culture of the drum corps community. Secondly, my project provides a curriculum and code of conduct and ethics to complement the mnemonic device and elevate the responsibilities of instructional staff members. It is organized through three parts, pre-employment, employment, and post-employment, all of which provide instructional staff members with support, tools, and resources to becoming true leaders of their craft. Ultimately, this project is about fostering a safe culture in which fellow staff members are able to feel supported and confident in their roles. It is about setting the example for students who could potentially grow into the same roles that we are in today. It is about defining the coaching profession and giving recognition to the current profound instructors I have been so grateful to learn from. It is about detoxifying the current culture of drum corps in order to prolong its existence and allow the activity to continue to change lives, just like it has mine. To close, I'd like to share a few thank yous. Mom, Dad, thank you so much for believing in me and supporting me throughout my college education. Um, I can't help but feel overwhelmed with emotions by all that you have done for me and our family. I love you guys so much. Thank you to my seven best friends. These are my seven siblings, Britt, Brooke, Miss, Bryson, Bronson, Tay, and Brenna. I'm not going to lie, it was really tough being away from you guys. but. Weekend visits are what made some of my most difficult weeks go by much faster. Thank you to my editor friend, who is also one of my closest friends, Jennifer Ann Lyons. <laughs> You've really seen me grow throughout this entire journey and I value you and our friendship more than you know. I don't know if I would have been able to do this without you and our weekly phone calls. Thank you to my affiliating organization, Drum Corps International and Sue. Um, thank you for saying yes. Uh, I'm so humbled to be able to give back to an organization that has given me so much. Thank you to my supervisors, Kayla Weicker and Mike Kaiser. I have learned and grown so much from your support, wisdom and mentorship. I hold the utmost respect for you guys and all that you do. Thank you to my MLT family. Uh, whether we have been able to share multiple conversations or just a few, I feel that I have been truly inspired by all of you. Um, my graduate assistantship squad, Karen, Mel, and Andy. Uh, it's crazy for me to think about how close we have gotten in such a short amount of time, but you guys have made this entire experience truly mem memorable. Thank you to all of the MLD staff and faculty, Dr. DePedro, Dr. Hutcherson, Dr. Koppelman, Dr. Miles Nash, Dr. Turan, Dr. Resnick. Uh, each class, you guys have created an environment that has allowed me to grow into the person I am today. Um, so I'm so inspired by your continuous support and knowledge that you have shared. Thank you to my significant other, Noe. You have been a big part of my life, and I am excited to see where this next, cha next chapter will take us. Thank you for your kindness, your love, and most importantly, our Westie. <laughs> Lastly, um, I would like to thank all of my students, past and present. Thank you for challenging me as an educator and pushing me to be better. I continue to teach this activity because of you and your determination and your spirits. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey and opening your hearts to this amazing community.